Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily select media items within the organizer by clicking them. Selected items appear with a white check mark within a small blue square in the lower right corner of the media item. To deselect a selected media item, click it again to remove the check mark. To select a range of adjacent media items in the organizer, click the first item, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last item, then release the shift key. To select multiple non-adjacent media items, click the first item to select it, hold down the control key if using Windows or the command key if using a Mac, and then click the other items to select them. Then release the control or command key when finished. Clicking a non-selected item, when items are currently selected and not holding down either key on your keyboard, will select the new item and deselect any other previously selected items. To select all items in the organizer, you can select Edit, Select All from the menu bar. To deselect all selected items within the organizer, choose Edit, Deselect from the menu bar. To delete selected items from your catalog, but not from your hard drive, select Edit, Delete from Catalog from the menu bar, or press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard. A confirmed deletion from catalog message box then appears. Then click the OK button to delete the items from the catalog. Optionally, to also delete the selected items from your hard drive, you can check the Also Delete Selected Items from the Hard Disk checkbox within the Confirm Deletion from Catalog message box before you click the OK button. To undo a change made within the organizer, you can select Edit, Undo from the menu bar. To redo a change that was undone, select Edit, Redo from the menu bar. To copy selected media, choose Edit, Copy from the menu bar. To duplicate selected media items, choose File, Duplicate from the menu bar. If a file is deleted from the hard disk, renamed, or moved, it may break the existing link in the catalog. Missing files in the catalog show a question mark in their upper left corners. You can easily reconnect missing files and elements. To reconnect a single missing file, select the missing file. Then select File, Reconnect, Missing File from the menu bar. To find all missing files instead, select File, Reconnect, All Missing Files from the menu bar. If possible, Elements will automatically reconnect the missing file or files. If it cannot find the file, it will then try to search for the missing file in all your connected hard drives. You can click the Browse button in the dialog box that appears to do this to manually reconnect the file if needed within the Reconnect Missing Files dialog box. Select a missing file by clicking it in the left Files Missing from Catalog pane of the dialog box. Then use the folder navigation in the Locate the Missing Files pane to the right to select the missing file. Then click the Reconnect button at the bottom of this dialog box to reconnect the catalog file to the new file. You can then click the Close button in the dialog box to close it when you are finished. If neither you nor Elements can reconnect the file, then you can delete it from the catalog. To adjust the date and time of selected media in the organizer, choose Edit, Adjust the Date and Time from the menu bar. Then select the option you want to use to set the media's new date and time, and then click the OK button. If you selected the Change to a Specified Date and Time option, then enter the New Date and Time into the Set Date and Time dialog box and click the OK button. If you select the Shift by Set Number of Hours Time Zone Adjust option, then select either Ahead or Back in the Time Zone Adjust dialog box, enter the number of hours into the Hours field, and then click the OK button. To open the folder location of a media file and select the media file within the folder, select the media to locate within the Organizer window. Then click the Keyword Info button at the right end of the taskbar in order to show the tags and information pane if needed. Then click the Information label at the top of the pane if needed. Expand the General section within the Information section if needed. 
Then click the Location hyperlink in the General section to open the folder that contains the media file in your computer's folder system and select the file. You can then close the window when you are finished. To export selected media as a new file or files, select the media to export in the organizer. Then choose File, Export as New Files from the menu bar to open the Export New Files window. The selected files should appear at the left side of the window. In the File Type section to the right, select the file format for the newly exported files. In the Size and Quality section, select a size and set a quality level if possible. To set the Export Destination folder, click the Browse button in the Location section and then select a folder in the dialog box that appears. In the File Names section, select either Original Names or select Common Base Name and then enter the shared base name for the exported files into the adjacent field. Then click the Export button to export copies of the selected media. Finally, to quickly set a selected photo in the organizer as your desktop wallpaper, choose File, Set as Desktop Wallpaper from the menu bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.